Well, some people we know have been without power for most of the day, and it is the coldest day North Texas has seen all season. Our Aaron Jones taking us inside some of the homes where folks there are just trying to stay warm. Today we've seen wind gusts of more than 40 miles per hour here in North Texas, leading to encore equipment damage and thousands of power outages. Homeowners here in Princeton telling us it's been a real pain. Without power, I'm in the dark. It's a whole neighborhood. Princeton resident Rocky Garcia using battery operated lights, keeping warm by the fire. It is very frustrating because we pay our electric bills to Encore and all day has been going in and out. And Leo Sanchez and Rowlett experiencing the same thing. Every uh, seven, three minutes, 10 minutes. Heading into today, he already didn't feel good, having lost power for two days during the February 2021 winter storm. We were hoping that this winter we, we were going to have the same. Starting uh, around 10, uh, we had like blackout, poop, poop, like just a second, took like that. And I was like, oh no. And then 10 minutes, 10 minutes later, boom, boom, again. He says he reported this to Encore, which notified him of widespread damage, which has led to thousands of outages. The last message was that they have no idea when it's going to be, be uh, solved. We got a text saying the power is going to be out until midnight, I think. Encore telling us crews are working around the clock, especially focusing on impacted critical infrastructure and areas where the most people have been impacted. They've brought in additional contractors, transformers, poles, and wires, scattering these throughout North Texas so they can be quickly accessed. So I'm really glad that I have a fireplace because otherwise I'd be freezing right now. So hopefully, hopefully this will be, be fixed. <laughs> And if you've experienced a power outage, there are several ways to report listed there on your screen. Encore telling us they're trying to make this process as simple as possible. In Princeton, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.